From the host of Super Bowl 50 back in February of 2016, there's a look at the home of the 49ers, Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32. Play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. See, the always more eyes on these night games, and they started it off nicely there on that run. Yeah, and you're exactly right. Don't think for a second these players don't know and understand that. They want to impress their peers across the league. They also want to win the ball game. That's the way to get things going. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. This second and four. And they'll try to run the option here. And he's going to have a Niners first down. He's good running. Gets him to about the 44. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. That time the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Purdy bootlegging it. Got a man. That's IU. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Second down and six now. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Third and two. Purdy. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut. We'll take care of the end of this drive. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down, otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. There's Purdy on first and 10. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. The go down is a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, 
well prepared and excited to start this game. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Well, the Niners are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at it. And across the track, into the end zone. It's a 49 touchdown. will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Khalif Raymond, he's inside the 20. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Lions. Well, there you go. They gave up a score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's going on on the defensive That's side? That's a line. tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. 
So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Third and nine here. The throwing here, Purdy. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. After the interception, here's Goff. He's got right on the short throw, and he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. That was good, tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They'll run with Montgomery, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Gibbs straight ahead. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action, throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being forward. And in for the Lions touchdown. Sam Laporta from four yards out. And the Lions have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. 
But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Ball at the 26, second and seven. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And some room to work. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 67 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Well, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Second and seven. Purdy will set up to throw it here. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll get this down inside the 35. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards, but also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Oh, good move. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. 18 yards for Christian McCaffrey. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And right now we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Here's second and 10 now from the 29. 
Goff now looking to throw. That is caught by Laporta. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. First down. Here's the run to Montgomery. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. To throw on second down is gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third and three. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And that's a gutsy call there on third and short because that's a play that's got a good chance of being blown up in the backfield for a big loss of yardage. But nice job out wide to gather in that screen pass, use his blockers well, and pick up the first down. Out of the gun, golf. Finds Gibbs on a check down. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, Montgomery, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. To throw is gone. Got a man. It's caught inside the ten. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have broken our tie as they take the lead. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10.
Purdy looking to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That open man that time may end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Purdy looking deep for Jennings. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Purdy. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return, and the Lions will take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. So for this offense, Charles, remember, drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there's never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I've got a good friend in football who always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. On second down, here's Goff. Oh, short pass here taken in by Laporta. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Goff throwing again. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now gone. This pass down the field for Gibbs. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him. And it's incomplete. And with the way things have gone so far tonight, I figured this was going to be a touchdown because he's wide open. But instead, the ball's laid out just a bit too far, and they come up empty. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. 
And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now Samuel. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Focus after that run isn't how many yards they gained. They said they gained a first down, and they've been running it well all game long. On first down, Purdy connects with Kittle underneath. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting into the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Purdy now to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Purdy from the gun. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's second and five now from the 22. Back to throw, Purdy. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but you know that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Shotgun now with Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down, following a pickup of about 13, as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. Birdie. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown. point away now from tying this ball game. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Moody good with the extra point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So out now come the Lions. We're getting closer here now to halftime, and we may need that halftime break just because there hasn't been much of a break in this first half. A lot of points being put up. Not much room to breathe, is there? 
because these guys are going up and down the field. And let's face it, if you're the offensive coordinator for either squad, pretty happy with what you're saying. If you're the defensive oh, coordinator, yeah, so happy. you're frantically searching for something that'll work. You're on the headset talking to your assistant. You're checking your play sheet. You're going through your memory banks of all the tape you've watched. You've got to come up with something, anything, that'll help slow them down. Searching for answers. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Goff now to throw. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a first down throw, gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. First down, Lions. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. They'll look to throw again. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Throwing again is gone. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, gone. And this will be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Gone. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. To the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to go up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it third and ten. To the air again. Golf. And oh no, it's incomplete. It's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Badgley's kick is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. kick this one away and he'll elect not to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback well the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half a slim deficit here in a one possession game not much time left obviously we'll see if they can march this down the field at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room 
Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Got a man, that's Ayu. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The 49ers now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And he will find his man, Samuel. Now San Francisco are going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. The throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So eight yards on the completion there, and it'll be second in a couple. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will tie us at 24 So no problems at all on that one. And you know, virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. Still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But Bob, a defensive player, I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there, and if you're going to give him that much space, He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first and ten, golf. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact. 
but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Again, golf. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he went that down. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Throwing on third. Gone. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now Goff on first down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. But Nick Bosa so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage. But right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Touchdown! David Montgomery, 59 yards. And the Lions have taken the lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Purdy now on second down. They'll get this into the hands of IU. 63 yards receiving for him now. Catch good enough for a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. There he goes, right side. Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown. are an extra point away from drawing level. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now.
nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Detroit's offense ready to take over. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and ten. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there was a lane that could completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and gap what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Now golf. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Into the hands of Williams across the formation. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. On first down, it's gone. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching Phil, and understanding defensively what the play design was. To throw on second down is gone. His throw is going to be incomplete. He's trying to get it to Alvin Ross St. Brown, and it's third down. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now gone. He's airing it out for Williams. there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there was not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time they'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline San Francisco's offense returns to the field and the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 36 yards on the play. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. And they'll go with a ground attack here. That's stopped made by Jack Campbell. 
Boy Carter, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Second down at six now from the 42. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. So five yards here, five on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 21. Defense was expecting run and their delta pass of over 15 yards. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce it, might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for a while in this game. They don't get one load in up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we go up the teeth away <laughs> instead of Porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. That? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. McCaffrey will get into the end zone for a 49 touchdown. He finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Moody good with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Another shot now for this Lions offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Here's Goff. He's got right on the short throw. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and one. Montgomery. And he'll get it down here to the 43. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Shaverius Ward in on the tackle. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Now second and five. Running left, Montgomery. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This offense so far on third down, they've had good success. Five for eight to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Goff. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Traverius Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Showed a good move, but quickly corralled just beyond the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. They got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, tell them to take care of the ball, and try and move forward. 
Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this will probably get away from them. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Now a second and ten. Purdy. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And they find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a big 32-yard play on third. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. It returns it right back to Samuel. And they're going to be set down around the 15-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind, no pointing fingers, no accusations, because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Second and ten. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the ten. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now they need five yards on this third down try. Back to throw. Purdy. Blitz coming and down he goes. That sack courtesy of Jack Campbell. Even keeping the back in for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD in a good one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. And Detroit back in possession of the football. 
And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That is incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Goff now looking to throw. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call there. Always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, here's Goff. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Only took him three plays, and they're already in the red zone, just like that. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. David Montgomery. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the eight-yard line. Now second and four. Back to throw. Golf. are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. First and goal at the one yard line. Go off throwing again. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over. Yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Important extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as these guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. 
Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers. Anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and eight. Purdy now to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And you wonder, could they possibly think about taking a safety here? Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. So here's Goff and the Lions. Down by a field goal. A minute 36 to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now golf. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. What a time to come up with a play like that. They are now in field goal range. But the opportunity is also there to try and win the game outright. Well, plenty of time to work with here, but the timeouts, they're gone. Here's first and ten. Over the middle and take it in by LaPorta. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Here's second down and three. Now it's gone. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Now first and goal. Goff not a throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gasp from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Let's go. 
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. One final chance here on the kick return, but no chance on the other side that they were going to let him navigate all the way to the end zone, Charles. And that ends up being the final play in this one. Yeah, you're right about that. Special teams coaches, they spend a lot of time working on these types of situations, and they go over every crazy possibility that can happen in this situation. They were able to cover successfully and end the game.